A shocking inequity for pregnant women worldwide could be changed for as little as one cent per day. Today, most pregnant women in high-income countries started their day with a high-quality prenatal vitamin. These types of multivitamins guard against common nutrient deficiencies that can occur during pregnancy. But in low- and middle-income countries, most pregnant women started their day with a vitamin containing only two micronutrients, iron and folic acid, if they had access to a prenatal vitamin at all. That's because in most of these countries, iron and folic acid, known as IFA, is all that's currently available. But what's in a prenatal vitamin, or missing from one, can lead to enormous differences in pregnancy outcomes. In the place I work in northeast Nigeria, around the Boko Haram insurgency area, because of insecurity for years, it was difficult to farm. So hunger and malnutrition is very rampant. Among children below the age of five, you have malnutrition is already more than 50%. That means that with the mothers, it's even going to be worse because mothers eat last. Babies born to women who don't receive adequate nutrients during pregnancy are at a higher risk of being born underweight or prematurely, and tragically, may even be stillborn. There is no reason to perpetuate this global health double standard. A superior prenatal vitamin exists. It's called MMS, which stands for Multiple Micronutrient Supplements. MMS contains 15 micronutrients, and these have been put into MMS taking into account the needs of the mother and the growing baby during pregnancy. MMS is more effective than iron and folic acid in reducing stillbirths, low birth weight, and premature births. And it's effective in preventing anemia in pregnant women. For just a few dollars per pregnancy, and at only a slightly higher cost than iron and folic acid, MMS is one of the most cost-effective interventions in global health. Many factors influence a woman's nutrition during pregnancy, not just prenatal vitamins. But MMS is a simple, high-impact intervention that could save or improve the lives of millions of women and their babies. It's time to take this knowledge and turn it into change. We need to support governments to incorporate routine use of multiple micronutrient supplementation for pregnant women. The women in Africa also deserve it. The women in my community, even as they are internally displaced, they deserve it. A movement is growing in countries around the world to reach more women with MMS. One country that's actively researching a transition to MMS is Nepal. Given these benefits of MMS on the birth outcomes, the Nepal government was interested in seeing the possibility of transitioning from IFA supplementation to the MMS supplementation. We will be taking this time for uh, generating the evidence uh, from the ground, from the pregnant woman. We will also be uh, utilizing it for creating a roadmap on the transition of the MMS in Nepal. Now is the time to partner with interested governments to help get MMS into the hands of all pregnant women. The evidence given at now has already confirmed that MMS is more effective and there are a lot of benefits of providing MMS compared to IFA alone. MMS has the capability to break the intergenerational cycle of malnutrition and poverty. Availability of multiple micronutrient supplementation is crucial, not just for the health and well-being of children and women, but the future development of their communities and also for global equity, peace and justice. A better prenatal vitamin is one small but mighty intervention that could save millions of lives and bring us that much closer to a healthier, more equitable world because all women deserve to have a healthy pregnancy and all babies deserve the best start in life.